Question 16. So fairly straightforward, I think part A. So uh, Chris passing is 0 0.9, so failing is the rest to make it up to a whole, so 0 0.1, because 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 is a whole. Now moving on to Sunhill, he can also pass a fail. Passing is 0 0.65, so again with him failing is the, the balance, so 0 0.35. And what we do, we just repeat the, these options for Sunhill, down here as well so that then gives us the option of considering Chris and Sunil together whether Chris passes or fails. Now work out the probability that exactly one of Chris or Sunil passes the driving test. So one of them passes so either Chris passes and Sunil fails that's the pass fail option pass fail option alright so the passing is 0 0.9 for Chris, Sunil failing is 0.35. Now it's, it's Chris passing and Sunil failing. It's an and, so we multiply those two um, decimals together. Now our other possibility, the other way of getting exactly one of them passing, is with Chris failing and then Sunil passing. Fail, pass, 0.1. 0.65. Again, it's Chris failing and Sunil passing, and so we multiply. So these are the two options. Now, in order for us to have the probability exactly one of them passing, we don't care whether it's the pass fail option or the fail or pass option. That's an or. So that's why we add both of those two together, and that gives us 0 0.38.